Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. This afternoon, I have a beer that I've been looking forward to drinking for quite a while. The Delirium Noel. So the, the Delirium Noel is a Belgian strong ale, I believe. They just call themselves the Belgian Ale. I'm going to pour this out now before it gets any crazier. I allowed this to sit out for a little bit to uh, warm because, as I understand it, Belgian ales generally don't follow the um, U.S. beer rules of the colder the better. Um, and instead are designed to be drunk at generally warmer temperatures than the average American beer drinker might initially think. Um, and uh, so apparently it's a lively one like the um, the Boulevard. The Boulevard uh, favorite things. <laughs> um, anyway, so I've seen this on the store shelves. No doubt you likely have too. Usually in a bigger bottle, there's like big bottles of the Delirium and the Delirium Noel and the Pink Elephants, you know, kind of maybe a, a hark back to the Fantasia or a <laughs> Um, Dumbo's uh, <laughs> drugged up bubble sequence <laughs> in the Dumbo movie um, that I always felt was a little weird anyways uh, I've always assumed that's what they're going for it's definitely I mean Dumbo was delirious so it fits I suppose um, being a Belgian ale I'm expecting this to be pretty strong and indeed it is a 10% ABV and um, I'm expecting it to be uh, not necessarily not, not not necessarily spiced but a spiced character to the beer uh, more likely brought about from uh, super creative and wise use of the hops and the malts and the waters and such um, I haven't done any other research on this beer so I'm not going to talk anymore about it until I've smelled it and drunk it so let's uh, see what it's all about first off the color it is light to the light side of amber, um, like a, a light honey color. The head is creamy and has held on pretty well. It is rocky, that is there's variation in the bubbles. And it smells of fruits, uh, apples, uh, pears, peaches. Uh, maybe a bit of like a golden syrup, which is like a maybe a, a light colored molasses almost. It's a it's a sugar-based syrup that's kind of yellow in color. You might see it as golden syrup. Um, you can see it at, usually at most nicer grocery stores. I believe Trader Joe's carries it. Cost plus world market in their you know international food section and the like. Hmm. There's also a bit of a yeah spicy bite, like maybe an allspice down there deep in the smell there's a lot of stuff going on in the smell it smells really good yeah but yeah the, the apples and pears are kind of at the forefront and then you have this kind of spicy syrupy and um allspice kind of bite at the back end so let's a uh, dive into the drink Ooh. oh oh Okay. Okay. Definitely a few things going on here. The promise of the nose is borne out in the taste. You're getting really juicy apple, pear, um, maybe a touch of peach, and with some syrupy sweetness. Just not not like sweet sweet. It's it's but it's it's like the thought of a syrupy sweetness rather than the reality of it, which is kind of interesting. Um, feels like the, the the yeasts kind of the yeast funkiness together with this really strong malt um, is is going in to produce a very very nice like rich malty body uh, not dark bread definitely light bread like hala or um, something like that and uh, but it's like a like a, a really sweet rich succulent bread maltiness. And then, I mean, being a, a Belgian beer, 
being a widely distributed Belgian beer. I don't know how old this is. There are some numbers on here, but I can't see like how long this has been in transit or how well it has been stored before making it to me. Um, there is a bit of maybe that tinniness, just, just the hint. And I would uh, attribute that to just uh, maybe it's a little bit older or it hasn't been super well. There's been, It's been allowed to vary too much in temperature. Um, I mean, the bottle, what it's not bad. The, the bottle was sealed. It's it's light blocking. It's a dark glass bottle. Plus they have this kind of their their trademark like tan paint covering it. So this is even more light blocking than than other dark um, dark glass beer bottles. And they have the foil top. So there's no light spoilage in here. And it's certainly not to an extent that I would you know throw this out. Um, it's just it's definitely there's a bit of that kind of metallic bite just just a hint of the metallic bite of the finish <laughs> and now I'm, now i'm i'm feeling the the alcohol and the breath that that that's a warmer it's that that 10 percent's definitely there yeah there's a lot going on there it's tasty if you've had a belgian beer this is a strong example of that um it is, it's got that, that kind of funky, kind of farmyard almost uh, note to it, but it's got these really nice, like rich fruits going on as well, and that really nice maltiness that's just super, super rich and, and decadent and tasty, and, and then it's got this warmth on the finish <laughs> as you're, uh, you're breathing up that 10%. It's a good beer. It's a tasty beer. It's got a lot going for it, and I can see how it has uh, uh, earned its place on as many store shelves as it has. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this has been the Delirium Noel. I'm Matthew. I've been chewing the brew, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side.